Well, hello, and good morning. Welcome back to Arizona. Good morning. It's our last full day to hunt, so we're just gonna get after it hard today. Look for Jordan a buck. Go give it one more try to even look for my buck. Jordan, I think you will have shots fired. We're gonna get Jordan on a buck today. We just yeah. need to get on a buck. We're gonna start out dropping down out of camp, maybe take a quick glass and then move around this big peak. And we got some high ridges to glass. But yeah, welcome back to Coos Deer. Well, slow morning, for sure. Yeah, slower than we'd like to have had. I mean, like yesterday morning, we actually had action over here. We watched the face that we've been watching every day. Uh, Eric saw a spike in a doe, and that's it. Um, <laughs> and then Eric made fun of everybody, because <laughs> Ben and Martin found all the bucks in the highest country possible. The farthest away. That he calls away. Ken Effect. It's like, dude, you're not even going to go after him. Why are you looking at him? Um, but so what we want to do now is allow Eric to go spend some more time. Martin and him are going to go and just grid, grid everything up. Me and Ben are going to drop down, hop up on this face across from them to glass and see if we can see them either push anything out or if we see anything, maybe his buck, maybe a buck for me. It's last day. We're going to give it our best effort. Full push to the end. Yeah, I'm going to spend all day on that hill. Okay, we've got Jordan and Ben are working their way down this draw, and then they've got a little elevation to gain. I think Martin and I are just gonna pop up out of this creek bottom. Just go real slow and just stay put at last blood until those guys are elevated. You know, they got the binoculars out and they're ready for us to push. And after that, it's just gonna be like a super tight grid. I'm gonna use Onyx map to uh, track my trail. And Martin and I are just gonna stay within visual distance and just grid, grid, grid and see if we could either jump this thing or find him dead. So 24, has it been two full morning? Like two full days? No. So I shot him in the morning and then yesterday morning two was days in the full morning. day, yeah. You are a beast, Martin. Is that the last, the last one? Mm -hmm. Let me see this camera. Martin, it's a tracking machine. <laughs> Found two more drops of blood now. One just down from his bed on the way to it. And then I just took the trail I thought he was on and we found another one. This is his track, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. It's going right on the angle to where we thought he probably went. And interesting point, Eric did find some blood on a track way up in this canyon yesterday. So we don't know if that's his or not, but it is going that same direction. Mm -hmm. We were gonna go low, we might just be going high and into that next draw. <laughs> it's not much, but I mean, it's a step in the right direction. We just ought to get high and like glass, all that stuff. That sucks. Nothing? Didn't see anything. Nothing from us. We haven't seen a deer. So no luck on the buck. Dude, I think he's... The way he went straight up from his bed, which is... He went straight up to bed, then straight up out. It's just like he just ran. Maybe he came across and is living out here, but the thing's not dead. We're back to hunt mode for the last, it's, it's afternoon, it's 12 o'clock. Um, Phil's are there. Phil for Eric. I feel for you, man. That, you know, it was just kind of like an interesting point. Like, help me understand why.
there's room for one. <laughs> Up top in the center. Here you can see him right here. Looks like he got a scoop on the left side of it how it comes down and there's a little cut that's up there at just to the left of that ice cream scoop he's right in that cut he's coming down yeah burn there he is you guys you see him jordan okay yep Just to the right of the lower doe. Okay. It's like a big stump, like a tree trunk. Yeah. It's black. Go to the right of it. If you need to come look and see where he is. Oh, I see him. Okay. He just walked under there real slow. And your left ear up and down was perfect on that. Like right here, like right where that, that line goes. Like right there, which honestly, femoral artery, right, and yeah. gut and all kinds of stuff. That deer ain't getting work. He's held up in there. By the way he was looking when he was moving in there, he looked like he's pretty hurt. We're gonna get closer and see uh, see what's going on. Put another shot in him if we can see embedded, but with our angle now we can't quite see underneath the tree. I think if we get a little bit to the left and look up, we should be able to see if he's bedded. We'll see him there. Our Father in Heaven, we're grateful for the opportunity that we have to be out here in the outdoors with good friends and, and be able to share these great experiences together at this time as we are experiencing some uh, what hunting's all about. We ask that everything will go uh, according to that will and that we will be able to uh, successfully harvest this animal and, and <clears throat> that it can uh, go as peacefully as possible. And we are grateful for all of the blessings that we have and the opportunity that we have to, to have these uh, outdoors to hunt and to spend the time to develop relationships and friendships and and we are grateful for all of our many blessings and ask for these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get this done. Man. Let's uh, let's clean this up. Let's get this done. opening at the bottom of the tree and he's laying down. So Chester's gonna get the spotter out. We're gonna confirm and see what's going on. He's got the right color dude. Yeah it's like white and stone gray. Yeah you're gonna have to shoot him again. Yeah. So he's still alive just bedded under that tree so we're gonna try to find Jordan a solid spot to lay down which that's gonna be difficult but we'll, we'll find something and be patient. Yeah, 
drilled him. He's dead. Now he's done, Jordan. He's Great follow-up shots. <laughs> That was perfect. Yeah, great work, man. Awesome setup. Awesome shot, dude. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Did it, man? <laughs> just like the next time. Last night. Oh my gosh, man. Come on, man. I'm happy, but <laughs> I know we're we're ending it's, this hunt on a high now. It's that's just for the, sure. It's just that we we learned from. I'm happy, but I I wish Eric cut his butt too. So. I guess I'm I'm still like I'm still like these are my this is what you call it a hot mess <laughs> like I'm stoked <laughs> I'm so stoked right now like we just did it like team full send like full sendal we full, did it like full sendal we did team full sendal went straight up and we got it and I don't know I'm happy I'm happy but I'm also like like I feel I still feel for you Eric but I'm, I'm so just thankful glad for we're, you we're leaving this on a high note. <laughs> Like I said, man, nothing goes to waste out here. I'm such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well so grateful for these guys. Like, Hush Nation, guys, you know these people. You know Eric, you know Casey, you know Brian, you know Chad, you know Logan, you know the Hush crew. Like, some of the most amazing people in the world. And I'm grateful to call my friends, my brothers. I'm grateful for opportunities like this. I get to go hunt. But right now, I've got to pull myself together. we got to go get my buck. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. There he is. My first cruise there. Look at him. We did it, boys. Thank you. Yes. Look at him. Man, they are just so little. Yeah. They're just these little guys. Ben. My buck, dude. <laughs> we did it, man. Good job, man. We went full send off. That was awesome. Eric. Dude, they're, the they're the coolest, man. Like, they're everything. <laughs> you two have been hyping this hunt so much, and I'm like, really, Coos deer? <laughs> guys, this is everything that these two gentlemen have spoken about this hunt it will definitely not be my last i hope i get to come do this with eric and ben again this is so so awesome oh yeah wait i'm gonna flip it's it it's like hunting what? giant rabbits any thoughts <laughs> feels dude so much smaller in person but dang <laughs> isn't that cool look how pretty that color is that on the horns and that capes the capes man he has such a beautiful cape that's awesome this hunt was like a western whitetail hunt like it's like sitting in a tree stand and you're waiting and all of a sudden you see one come right into your stand and you just start freaking out and you're excited it's like that but all day because these coos deer are hiding and then all of a sudden ben or eric or martin will just pick one out of the trees take care of him now and get some pictures and make some more memories and <clears throat> We're gonna have backstraps tonight, right, yeah, Eric? We got backstraps tonight. Ben brought a like tiny little skillet and some Montreal steak seasoning, <laughs> and we're going to town on this thing. Full sendal, baby. I just had the same thing happen on. Just the backstraps are good. Most of them. Yeah, dude, that's 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 too tedious. <laughs> That's just the front shoulder. It's like an enlarged, super-sized rabbit leg. Just the little guys.
we don't have the little pan top. So, so Eric's going to work out his forearms. He's going to hoverboard it. Steak chunks, finger food, and the buck right here at camp. How fresh is that? It's as fresh as it gets, Eric. It's fresher than fresh. Yeah. So when we came like out here, within hours of fresh. we didn't even have return flights. And Sunday would be the latest it would go, but we're like, let's not get return flights because maybe we'll kill in a couple days. Yeah. Yeah, we took it to the end. <laughs> back in Utah tomorrow night. Yeah, back to snow. Are you ready for that? No. <laughs> Eric's really... already Eric's already thinking of where he can go next. Like I know. As far as either Once a I get hunt home... that's warm or a place to relax that's warm. First taste of my coos deer. Is it still raw? It's perfect, dude. Is it? Uh huh. Let me try one. All right, Rob, grab one for yourself. Good seasoning choice there, boss. You got it, man. It is good. All right, we're It's perfect. It's perfect. Can't ask for anything better than this, guys. Hot chocolate, back straps, bucks, fires. God bless America. Have a great outdoor. All right, everyone, come get some. I got two ramens, yeah. Beef, dog. Ramen and that. We should put some peasants. Yeah, we should do. We should just come and season.